Hello guys, today we will talk about if-else statements and how to make it more readable. If-else is really really old topic, but if you see structures like this on the screen, so if with nested with, with three layers with, then it becomes much more complicated and harder to read. So in this video we will transform this function into much more readable state. And I've come up with pretty typical example, calculation of something based on some condition. So calculating taxes for an account, for a user, first we find the user and then we have the first if. So if we have a user, then we calculate. If not, we have taxes zero. And then if we go deeper, if the user is taxed, for example, for some reason someone doesn't pay any taxes. So if it's taxed, then again we calculate, otherwise taxes is zero. And then inside of the actual calculation, we are calculating income for the year. And then based on that income, we apply 20% of income or 15% of income. So all pretty logical, right? Now let's transform that into more readable format with a thing called early return. I remember learning that first from Jeffrey Way from Laracast years ago, and it opened my mind. And I saw another way to structure the logic of uh, bigger functions. So the logic here is to return early with any results which are not typical, which are not related to the actual calculations. So there is a term called shiny path or happy path. And in this case, it's this one. So majority of the logic of all the function is inside of this if statement, which is third level deep. And with early returns, our goal is before that meet of the function, we return anything that is not related to calculations. So step number one, change if user and this into if not user, then we return zero. And then we don't need this and we don't need this. Okay, so that was step number one. Early return of a result which is not related to the calculations. What else is our exception? User is taxed or not. So we do if not user is taxed, again we return zero. And then we don't need this if. Some reformatting of the code, so okay. The function is getting shorter, are you noticing? And then it will get even shorter. So see we have two return zero on two conditions. Maybe we can combine that. So in reality it should be if not user or this, we return zero. And then we don't need that if statement. Function gets even shorter. And then we have another if statement that we can shorten. So if income is bigger, then we calculate with this formula, otherwise it's this formula. For this we can use so-called ternary operator, and if the formula is pretty short, then we can use a one-liner, which is taxes equals if this question mark, otherwise this. And then we don't need if statement at all. So this, remove this line, and here. And now we have PHP storm as a helper. What does it say? A necessary local variable. Indeed, it's not really necessary. We don't really use that anywhere. Therefore, we need to do return. So we don't need extra variables. And this is the actual final version of that function. And remember that function was full screen. Now it's much shorter, right? Let's compare visually. So this is before and after. See visually how longer is the left version and how shorter is the right version. And not only that, we have a few benefits actually here. First, the second part is more readable. So it's quicker to process by a brain of another developer who sees that function for the first time. So if there's no user or not tax, we return zero immediately. Then second part of benefit is actually getting rid of all the temporary variables. So we don't have taxes as a variable, we immediately return and that's what makes it shorter. And actually shorter not only vertically but horizontally too. I forgot to change one thing, I usually do this one. So it would be more readable. 
And now see the length of the line. If some statement, especially the main statement, is on the third level of if statement, then it goes to the right. But if we take it out of if statements on the first level as we did here, see, it's much shorter. So eyes don't have to read too long to the right as well. And there's one more thing I want to show you. So instead of if statement, let's take a look at this one. We've combined those two conditions to make it shorter, but in reality those are different logic. So if user is not found, then it's an exception. It's actual error that someone passed the wrong parameter. But if user is not text, then it's not an error. It's not a text user, then we return zero. So in this example, I would vote to not combine those, but to separate those. But with a different logic. Let me show you. So if not user, or if user is not text, like this. But here, we shouldn't return zero. We should throw an exception. We should throw new exception. It could be a default exception by PHP account not found or you can use something like model not found exception in Laravel or HTTP not found which would throw 404 or create your own exception. But what happens now is wherever that method is actually used in controller or in other service or in model the user would actually see the error that account is wrong is missing or something like that and that would be the sign of changing something in the code in the parameters or elsewhere. And that is much more valuable than just returning zero, pretending that there is nothing wrong happened. And if you want to learn more about exceptions, I have quite a big article, in fact, two articles about general exceptions and API exceptions. I've linked them in the description of the video. So check those out. And if you want to receive more tips like this one, it's not only in video format. Every Thursday, I'm sending Laravel newsletter to my subscribers, which is 3,500 people by now. Uh, I'm just curating the links about Laravel throughout all the week. Everything I'm reading, I'm sending every Thursday, including my own articles and videos or Twitter tips and everything I find from the community. So subscribe to the newsletter. The link is on the screen. And meanwhile, I will keep shooting more videos like this one. I have a lot of ideas and you suggest a lot of ideas. So see you guys in other videos.